What's up everyone? So today's video is going to be about Lil Durk and Jay-Z because as you guys can see by the title, Gilly the Kid actually admitted that Lil Durk is Jay-Z. So before I get into the video, I just want to say make sure you guys drop a like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description below. And also I made a playlist of all of my Jay-Z is Lil Durk videos because I made three videos about this situation. And Divine Sade also made a video about it as well. So if you guys want to watch all of our videos, you know, breaking it down, I'm going to put a link to this playlist in the description below so that you guys can watch all those videos. But anyways, now let's get into the video. So if you've seen my other three videos about this situation, you should already be able to tell that Jay-Z is Lil Durk's base character. You know, when they were creating the Lil Durk character, Jay-Z was the main inspiration behind it. So that's why Lil Durk looks so much like Jay-Z. And with this comparison that I made, I'm sure everyone can see the resemblance right away. You know, it's undeniable, man. Like, they look so much alike. And it's crazy because nobody would expect it. So that's what makes it hard for a lot of people to accept. But in this video, I'm going to break down all the reasons why this makes perfect sense. Because they are going to give Lil Durk the same storyline that they gave Jay-Z. So I'm going to break all of that down towards the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch this entire video. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that Lil Durk himself basically admitted that he's Jay-Z in this song called The Voice. And he's doing one-eye symbolism in plain sight, by the way. But here's the clip of him admitting he's Jay-Z. I'm Durky, yo, but I'm Chicago Jay-Z. He said, I'm Durky, yo, but I'm Chicago Jay-Z. So he's putting the truth in plain sight as always. And again, he also admitted that he's Jay-Z in this tweet. So last year in 2021, Chief Keef said, somebody tell Jay-Z drop an album and put me on it. And Lil Durk responded and he said, I am, as if he is Jay-Z. You know, so once again, he admitted it right here. And now I want to show you guys Gilly the Kid admitting that Lil Durk is Jay-Z because I found it weird that Right after I made those videos about Lil Durk and Jay-Z, Gilly the Kid comes out and says Lil Durk is the new Jay-Z. Don't you guys find that kind of suspicious? You know, right after I make these videos, Gilly the Kid comes and admits it. And shout out to everybody that was sending me this because this is direct damage control to my videos. Because Gilly the Kid himself is a character as well. And I can make a video about him if you guys want. But my point here is that they're putting it in the media that Lil Durk is Jay-Z right after my video so i just found that kind of weird that my video made such an impact that the mainstream media had to put something out about it so i'm gonna play that clip for you guys right now well gilly the kid was on it's tricky with raquel harper and one thing that he talked about is who is the next rap icon mogul business tycoon here's what he had to say what you mean you know who the new hove is <laughs> no okay <laughs> I'm Durky over of Chicago, Jay-Z. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know who the new hove is. You think so? Yes, to the young street, yes. Mm -hmm. Because see, hove was about, you know, being a hustler, being a, getting some money, getting the, you know, and that was the wave when we was young. Yeah. We didn't look up to the shooters. The shooters was crash dummies. He's talking about Lil Durk. Mm-hmm. Salute to my good brother, Gilly the King. One thing Gilly knows how to do is stir up waters to catch fish. He knows how to get the people talking. Uh, but I respectfully disagree with that opinion, okay? <laughs> and I would like to know what makes one the new Jay-Z. Like, there is no new Jay-Z. Jay-Z is a one-on-one. Yeah, I mean, I guess, um, you know, little Dirk has said it himself. He calls himself the Chicago's Jay-Z. And, for the, and he's saying for the young kids right now yeah. coming up, which means he's not where Jay-Z is now, but maybe back where Jay-Z was back then when he was younger. Doesn't mean influence. I mean, listen, Jay-Z set a bar, and everybody who comes after him is attempting to have the success, and now because of time, the longevity that he had. But you got to let Dirk be the first Dirk. Law 41 and the 48 Laws of Power, avoid stepping into a great man's shoes. That's all. Because if you succeed a great man, after you come after a great man, you'll have to accomplish double their achievements to outshine them. So you don't have to compare the two. Well, he's compared himself, you know, and he has proclaimed it himself, so I'm sure that's part of it, too. But... It's not a bad thing to aspire to. Of towards. course. Aspire, aspire, mm -hmm. aspire towards. Absolutely. 100%. All right. Now let's talk about young. So, y'all, you agree with that then? You think he's a. No, mm -hmm. I don't. I think oh, Dirk okay. is the new Dirk. I don't. I, don't... I, can, I can understand why, you know, first of all, Dirk has put it out there himself. And I can understand why Gilly would say to the young kids, 
you know, coming. But what about little baby? I mean, he could. What about Kodak Black? It could but, be more than one person. That's why I said person. he said of Chicago, little baby from Atlanta, Kodak from Florida. But I don't think they are. No, I think Dirk is Dirk. I think they have totally two different rap patterns, two mm-hmm. different influences, two different everything. <laughs> I agree. I, I mean, it's, I thought they were talking about like business acumen and the influence that they have. I don't see as nobody. Far, I don't not see, really like I, how they. Yeah, rap. I don't see nobody doing that yet. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's talk about Young Thug. All right, so those were three big points that I just made. And if that didn't convince you, here's some more side-to-side comparisons of Dirk and Jay-Z. So right here, they look exactly alike. And this person said, why does Lil Dirk look like Jay-Z? And also kind of funny that Jay-Z is four letters and Dirk is four letters. But anyways, that's just a small connection compared to all these other major connections that I have in this video. So here's another side-to-side comparison of Jay-Z and Lil Dirk. And as you guys can clearly see, they look exactly alike once again. You know, they have the same facial features and it's completely undeniable. Here's some more comparisons for you guys. You know, I've shown you guys so many comparisons with my three other videos about this situation. So I don't really have to explain much. But if you guys look at younger pictures of Jay-Z, you can see the resemblance a little bit more because nowadays Jay-Z has this weird hair and he did that to basically try to throw us off. But at the end of the day, if you look at these young pictures of him with short hair, he looks so much like Lil Durk. And also another funny connection is the fact that when Jay-Z first came out, he had short hair, right? And then later on in his career, he got the dreads. And then same thing with Lil Durk. You know, when he first came out, he had this short hair and now he has dreads. Even though he did have dreads way before he got famous. But my point here is that when he first came out with his big song, My Beyonce, and a couple other hits that he had during that time, he had short hair. And then later on in his career, he got the dreads just like Jay-Z. So I just find it funny that they both did the same thing with their hair throughout their career. And here are some more comparisons. As you guys can see, they have the same exact big eyes, you know, and they make the same facial expressions. You know, they have the same exact smile. That's what I find really funny about this. And it's also funny how they look exactly alike when they both have glasses on, especially right here. You know, this is completely undeniable. All right, so here's another big point that I want to make. So Lil Durk and India Royale did an Instagram Live, and they were like at a restaurant or something, and somebody came up to them, and they thought Lil Durk was Jay-Z. And then they just laughed it off, right? So I just found it funny that people actually thought he was Jay-Z by looking at him from the side. And somebody in the comments of the live even said, Dirk, you Jay-Z now. So they're always putting the truth in plain sight. You know, it's never really hard to find. You just really have to pay close attention to detail. And that's what I do in my videos. Like, for example, in my next big connection that I found, Dirk has a song with Lil TJ, right? And it's called Brothers. And the first connection here is the fact that Lil TJ is a big artist from New York. And Lil Dirk's bass character is Jay-Z. And he's from New York. So that explains why Dirk is really close to artists from New York. And they did mockery with this song because... In the hook, he says, big bag don't mean everything wavy. I got 99 problems like Jay-Z. So in this song that TJ has with Dirk, the main hook is him saying he has 99 problems like Jay-Z. And Dirk is on this song. So this is just a major connection right here. And by the way, I exposed Lil TJ a year ago before he got shot. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go check that out. That's why I haven't made a video about him because I already exposed him. So it's not really much for me to say. But if the story develops a little bit more, then I will do a more in-depth video about him. But for now, if you're interested in that video, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. All right, so the next major connection here is the fact that one of Lil Durk's biggest songs is his song called My Beyonce. And as you guys know, Jay-Z is literally married to Beyonce. So this is just mockery at this point. You know, Lil Durk lets us know with a lot of these hints about who his base character is. You know, they put that one right in our face. And Beyonce and Jay-Z do so much symbolism. That's why I wanted to show you guys these pictures. You know, she's doing symbolism right there. And then right here as well. All right, so now let's get into the Kanye West connection because Jay-Z was really close friends with Kanye West. And they're still friends to this day, but they had a falling out. You know, at one point they were beefing with each other. So I'm gonna break that down for you guys so you guys can understand the connections here. So as you guys can see, Jay-Z and Kanye have so many songs together. 
you know, they were very close and they had one of the biggest friendships in the industry. As you guys can see, those are three major hits that they had. So the major connection here is the fact that Lil Durk literally has a song called Kanye Crazy. And it's weird because it's like he has some type of obsession with Kanye in this music video because he dressed up as Kanye in every major event that he did in his career. He basically acted out every single event that he did in his entire career. And I just found that kind of weird that somebody would make basically a biopic of Kanye in this music video. And he's constantly calling Kanye crazy in this song. So I just found that very interesting because Jay-Z doesn't really like Kanye anymore. So that explains why he would diss Kanye basically with this song with his younger character, which is Lil Durk. And obviously, you know, these characters are not real, so they don't actually have beef. You know, all of that is just for the media. But I just find it crazy that Lil Durk would even make this song, you know what I mean? To me, this has to be the biggest connection because I've never seen an artist make a song about another artist and act out everything in their entire career in a music video. You know, that was very strange to me. So that was a major connection. And then to top it off, Kanye got Lil Durk on his new album and they have this song together called Jonah. And of course, on Lil Durk's verse, he did even more mockery. And he said, Kanye and Jay still brothers. They both billionaires and we ain't see it. I lost my brother when we was millionaires. So the fact that he referenced Kanye and Jay-Z in this song goes to show that that connection that I just told you guys about is extremely accurate because he literally brought it up in this song. And I'm not sure if he's referring to King Vaughn when he talks about how he lost his brother or if he's actually talking about his biological brother, which is D-Thing. But either way, that's another connection because besides the fact that Dirk literally mentions Jay-Z, you know, that's a direct connection to him being Jay-Z. But the other connection here is the fact that he referenced him losing his brother and he could be referring to King Vaughn or D-Thing. Either way it goes is still a connection because... If you guys seen my video about Dirk's brother, I exposed how his base character is T Grizzly. So make sure you guys go check that out. I'm gonna put a link to this video in the description below. And the big connection here is the fact that Dirk's brother's other character is T Grizzly. And Grizzly is a grizzly bear. And Kanye has this whole album of him being a bear. So that's an interesting connection. But something else I want to point out is the fact that he said Kanye and Jay still brothers. They both billionaires and we ain't see it. I lost my brother when we was millionaires. So like I told you guys earlier in the video, Lil Durk is going to have the same storyline as Jay-Z. You know, he started off as a millionaire and then he's going to build himself up to be a billionaire. So don't be surprised if you see Lil Durk owning businesses and becoming a billionaire just like Jay-Z. You know, I'm calling it right now. That's going to happen very soon. All right, so let's move on to the next connection. So as you guys know, Jay-Z and Kanye have this song about them in Paris. And recently, Lil Durk was modeling for Amiri in Paris. So that's another funny connection right there. And if you guys haven't seen my video about Kanye, make sure you guys go check that out. Because I expose Kanye's base character, which is Curtis Blow in this video. So I'm going to put a link to this video in the description below. Alright, so moving along to the next connection is their storyline, right? So when Jay-Z first came out, you know, he was rapping about everything he did in the streets, you know, all of this stuff. And then he started dating Aaliyah. And then when she died, you started to see Jay-Z move up as a businessman and, you know, become more professional and got out of the streets. And we see the same thing with Lil Durk, because when Lil Durk first came out, he was in the streets, quote unquote. And I say that because they're actually infiltrators in these hoods, you know, even though they were actually in the streets, but they're infiltrators. And that's something you guys need to keep in mind. But that's another topic for another video. So my main point here is that Lil Durk started off in the streets, you know, and a big shift happened with him, which was King Von dying. Now he's starting to wear suits and he's becoming more of a businessman, just like Jay-Z. And even though Jay-Z was dating Aaliyah and technically Lil Durk wasn't dating King Von, but as you guys can see, they had a very strange relationship. This doesn't look like a regular friendship. You know, right here, they're wearing matching outfits. That's not something that guys do. That's actually something that a couple does and to top it off king von's other character is actually a woman i made a video about this last year so if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you guys go check that out i'm gonna put a link in the description below so yeah i just find it kind of weird that 
Jay-Z was dating Aaliyah and then she died and now he's a billionaire. And then it's a similar storyline with Lil Durk. You know, King Von dies and then Lil Durk starts changing up his style and becoming more of a businessman. So it's the same exact storyline. And go check out Divine Sade's video about Aaliyah, by the way. I'm going to put a link to this video in the description below. Alright, so now let's get into the fact that Jay-Z is actually an immortal character. You know, as you guys can see, all of these celebrities are immortal. So as you guys can see, here's a picture of Jay-Z in 2000 and a picture of him now. And he looks exactly the same. So that goes to show that they never actually age. And this is a 20-year difference, so you would think he would look at least a little bit different. Alright, so here's his base character, and this is a picture of him from 1933. And this picture was taken in New York, and obviously Jay-Z is from New York, so that's a major connection. But I just find it funny that this picture was taken in 1933, because Jay-Z is heavily involved in masonry, and masonry equals 33 in Gematria. So as you guys can see right here, he's doing a lot of symbolism. Alright, so the last connection I want to make here with Lil Durk and Kanye. Durk has this interview and he explains that he understands why Kanye stays away from Chicago. The reason I want to bring this up is because Jay-Z said a very similar thing about Kanye. Because Kanye isn't really from the streets and Jay-Z said, We all grew up street guys who had to do whatever we had to do to get by. Then there's Kanye who to my knowledge has never hustled a day in his life. I didn't see how it could work. So Dirk basically said a very similar thing in this interview. You know, I can't play it for you guys because Vlad loves to copyright people. But, but basically what Dirk said is that Kanye's not from the streets. So he understands why he doesn't try to fix Chicago's issues. And Dirk says that he's actually from the streets. So that's why he's going to try to make a change. But obviously these celebrities never try to make a change in anything. They're actually the ones creating destruction with their music. So yeah, they both have something very similar to say about Kanye right here. So right here, Kanye was talking about Jay-Z because apparently Jay-Z didn't show up to his wedding with Kim. And he said, it doesn't even matter to me whatsoever who would show up because the most important person to show up there to me was Kim. And that's all that matters to me. And I wanted to bring that up because Jay-Z has done a lot of subliminal disses to Kanye. And Dirk did the same exact thing with that music video called Kanye Crazy. So both of these characters have a weird relationship with Kanye. And right now I'm going to show you guys all of the videos of Jay-Z dissing Kanye. And then Dirk talking about Kanye. And then Kanye dissing Jay-Z. And then Kanye talking about Dirk. So they all talk about each other. So I'm going to play all those videos for you guys right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like, share, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description below. And I'm out.